Moscow installed occupation authorities, opened early voting in temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine for Russia's presidential elections on the 10th of March that will last until the 14th of March. Kremlin Newswire TASS reported on the 10th of March that early voting started in occupied Donetsk region, but noted that early voting in the areas close to the front line has been going on since the 25th of February. Ukrainian Luhansk region military administration head Artem Lysohor stated that 2,600 so-called Luhansk People's Republic Election Commission officials have been conducting door-to-door -door campaigning for the past 20 days. According to the Russian Interior Ministry, there are about 2.8 million residents in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine who are now Russian passport holders. Russia makes access to services in these regions, including social services and health care, conditional on the receipt of Russian passports. Those who refuse will become foreign citizens or stateless persons starting from the 1st of July 2024. There is a realistic possibility that individuals will be deported or face detention up to this date if they don't have Russian passports in what the UK Defence Ministry calls, quote, a relentless Russification policy. The Institute for the Study of War continues to assess that the Kremlin and Russia installed occupation officials intend to falsify votes in support of Russian President Vladimir Putin and fabricate a large voter turnout in an attempt to legitimize Russia's occupation of Ukraine to the international community.